is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss a new topic that name is framework. So first we will discuss what is a framework and we will discuss how many kind of frameworks are present in the companies. So first I want to discuss what is a framework. Framework is a basic definition is like that framework is a set of guidelines by using that line guidelines we can create and we can modify our test scripts easily so this is process or this is guideline is known as a framework so every organization has their own guidelines and that guidelines by follow that guidelines we can create and maintain our test scripts right so there are different kinds of frameworks are present first is linear framework keyword framework and data driven framework hybrid framework page object model and many others but today i will discuss a framework which is known as keyword driven framework so what is a keyword driven framework keyword driven framework is a framework by using the uh, keywords we can create our test scripts so that the guys who is not much technical also use that framework right so in this video i'm not going to show you how we can create the framework yes in upcoming video i show you how we can create a keyword driven keyword keyword driven framework but in this video i'm going to show you what is my framework i designed a framework a simple way so that you can take that idea or if you like that framework you can just go my github and download that framework or clone that framework right so highlights of my framework my framework is so easy you cannot need any ide you cannot need any coding knowledge and you cannot need any other things you just open a simple excel and write your own steps by using the keywords which i have provided right you can also customize your own keywords you can add your business logic you can add everything which you need right so firstly i am just going to show you my uh, keyword framework let me show this uh, uh, let me show first a uh, framework structure right so this is my keyword framework there is a different folders which we will discuss in upcoming video but in this video i just give a demo how can we create how we can run and how we can modify our test scripts without using any ide remember i do not use any ide to create any test scripts right so let me open my excel so this is the dashboard right in this dashboard you can see there are our test case names run update test run test cases and save test case right so we will discuss one by one in upcoming video in this video i just show you a basic demo and this is our test cases this test cases is is such way which we have to implement suppose i have to query my first test case so i just give a test case one and by using this drop down i get get tc and submit so you can see that test case one is come here suppose so what is this this is a start test case this this event is just a logger right here i am just giving a open browser so by using open browser i am going to open my chrome browser here i can also use ff browser right and after that i am just get url and what is the url url is http www.google right and here i just check the exit angles that present that element is present or not so what is a element element is a such text field right and here i just give how many time it need to check that element is present or not so this kind of a implicit weight here i'm using right and after that i'm just enter text 
text uh, enter a text and my text is youtube and after that i'm close right so this is my first test case and what is the object object is like a web element so i'm using a test case one i'm using a search text field and here i am just give a search text field by name and properties is q right in a simple way i can query update we will discuss later how i can update uh, this web element or not and third is a components components is like that a method which is a common method which we can use my test scripts repeatedly right so by defining uh, that that steps again and again i just uh, create a components uh, this worksheet so that i can use that steps which are repeatedly used in one way so we will discuss this how we can use that component and in this video i'm just going to show you how we can run right so this is a test case when i need to this run i have just give pass y and i run i am running this test case by using excel file i am not using any eclipse any id so you can see that uh, my my test script, test script is running so here's something you can say that uh, it is building but i am using a maven so it just uh, building the keyword framework right and uh, now it is compiling and it it is slow because my laptop is slow today so it is taking some time here and you see that is case one is running right and now chrome browser is open what it just enter youtube you can see youtube has entered by the selenium web driver and now this close that browser right so you can see that i just run this test case by using excel file right so you can see by using excel file i can create i can modify i can run everything so you can say report is updated successfully one test case is passed you can also use i'm just also extra using extend report you can see use extend report here so you can see that test case one is pass i just run here and test case one is pass you can see they enter youtube into search field so this is my framework and this is a keyword driven framework so you can see the guy who does not have the knowledge of java python and selenium web drive just entering these things you can create your test scripts create your uh, framework bundle of regression test cases so this is so simple and what is the logic behind this we will discuss in upcoming video so please follow my youtube channel and take care bye bye